There have always been these questions that exist in every competitive sport. Who is the best? Who is the most successful? And in the concept of the overall most successful club in Zambia's history, that question is answered by the achievements of one team, the mighty Mufulia Wanderers. Take me to the stadium. I'm gonna play my heart out there. I'm gonna play Welcome to another episode of Stadiums. We'll be traveling to Mufulira to visit Zambia's most successful football club, Mighty Mufulira Wanderers at the Shinda Stadium. Uh, uh, this is the Mufulira Wanderers Stadium. The story begins in the year 1953, when the club was founded under the name Mufulira Mine Team. When the mine workers demanded to have their own club that could rival the town's municipal team, the Mufulira Football Club, which later became Mufulira Blackpool, making fighting rivalries between the two teams and the anticipation of the Mufulira Derby. In the year 1956, Samuel Glovo, nicknamed Zoom, joined the team from Kankoyo Mine School and later became the club's most iconic and influential figure and is truly one of Zambia's greatest soccer players and was the first ever footballer to win the Zambian Sportsman Award in the year 1964. He would go on to coach Mufura Wanderers and lead them to numerous numbers of titles. He also coached the Zambian national team. The first team to be assembled consisted of players like Alfonso Wad, Peñas Chilwa, Dominic Mwenya, Joseph Chungu, George Kango, Fidelis Buete and McLean Kawa coached by Jim Crow. And this legendary stadium was opened in the April of 1962 as the Shinde Stadium and the very year the club changed its name to Mufurira Wanderers. And the following year in 1963 the club won their first league title under their coach Doug Simmons and I believe this was their first trophy. And people always ask how is Mufurira Wanderers the most successful team in Zambia's history if they have 9 league titles compared to Nkana who have 13. Well, it's because every single season, Mufira Wanderers managed to win a trophy, one or two, even more. From 1963 to 1969, the club won 16 titles in seven years. This included the first ever three-peat back-to-back league title wins from 1965 to 1967, winning the league three years in a row. So in total, the club has 50 trophies to their name, including nine league titles, seven Zambian Cups, nine Zambian Challenge Cups, eight Heroes and Unity Cups, seven Champions of Champions, six Charity Shields, and they won the last edition of the Inter-Rhodesian Castle Cup in 1965, which was played between Northern Rhodesia and Southern Rhodesia, now Zambia and Zimbabwe. They played the finals against the City Wanderers of Southern Rhodesia, ending into a 4-3 win for Mufira Wanderers, coached by Harry McQuillan. The club is also known for producing great players and has had great players play for the club and other great players that went on to win the Footballer of the Year, like Melu in 1983 and 87, Kalusha Walia in 1984, and Johnson Walia in 1986. And other players that played for Mufria Wanderers also captained the national team, like Nglovu, Makwaza, Musenge, Melu, Chabala, and Alan Kamwanga. And the fans know this face, mighty Awine Chungolo, because the team had a die-hard mentality and had a tendency of winning games towards the end of the match. But the dark days approached as the coming of the millennium, Mufira Wanderers being relegated in the year 2004, and all hopes of being at the top of the table gone. How the mighty have fallen. But the fans reminded us with every chance they would get, they reminded us who Mufira Wanderers is, with everything that they have achieved, with everything that they can achieve. The fans still believe, because this is not just a logo or a symbol of the football club. This badge is stitched in the hearts of the diehard fans that truly love Mufira Wanderers. And that gives hope for players to fight and fight their way back to the top of the table. For this club is known as the mighty Mufira Wanderers, Avanava Milambo. And they'll make sure that you remember, because Mufira remembers. <laughs> Because the North remembers. Yeah, today I just visited uh, three legendary stadiums in Zambia. The Nkana Stadium, the Mufulira Ondra Stadium, 
and the Power Dynamo Stadium. Thank you for watching another episode of Stadiums. I'll have a link below for names of the great players that have played for the club, all the titles that they have won, the coaches, and shout out to the person that wrote the Wikipedia article on Muflera Wanderers. If you want to learn more about Mufulira as a town and its history, you can watch my Mufulira travel video. I'll leave another link in the description box below.